Project navigation and zooming are important features for good workflow, and in X2 there are several ways of both zooming and navigating a project and the various views. Let's look at the different ways of zooming first. Auto track zoom is a way of ensuring that the current in focus track is always the vertically zoomed track. It's turned on from the track view, view menu, or by pressing Shift Z. The zoom height is set by click dragging the in focus track, and the remaining track heights will be set to suit as well. Now the zoomed track is always the in focus one. All track heights can be zoom adjusted in one go by right clicking and dragging up or down in the top half of the time ruler. Left click and dragging here zooms in and out horizontally. Fitting all tracks to the vertical height is a simple matter of pressing F. To fit the project both vertically and horizontally, press Shift F. There are zoom tools in the bottom right hand corner of views which can be used to zoom in both horizontally and vertically by click dragging and adjusting as required. Exactly the same can be achieved by using the control key in combination with arrow keys, left and right to zoom in and out horizontally, up and down to adjust vertically. Fast zoom is another easy method of zooming in and out. Simply hold down the alt key and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. The behavior of fast zoom can be changed from the track view options menu. Here it can be adjusted to zoom in on different focus points, magnification factors, and whether both panes are zoomed simultaneously. Shift and double click on a clip header to isolate and zoom its horizontal length. To undo a zoom at any time, press Alt plus Z. Redo it again by pressing Alt plus Shift plus Z. The same action can be done by holding down the right mouse button and clicking the left. Holding the left down and clicking the right will redo the zoom. That is a really great way of zooming in and out. Zoom undo has a history, meaning subsequent undo will step back through the previous zoom levels. Step forward through them again using the zoom redo function. Finally, to zoom in on a region, there is the zoom tool. Switch to it permanently by pressing Z or temporarily by holding the Z key. Once active, it's possible to lasso select the required area. Once finished, either release the key or press F5 to get back to the Smart Tool. As with Zoom, there are several ways to navigate a project. The transport controls in the control bar can be used to move the now time position. Click hold the rewind fast forward buttons to move backwards and forwards respectively. There are also go to end and go to start buttons here for jumping to those points. The slider in the transport module can also be used to move the now time around the project. The key combo for go to start is control plus home or W, while control plus end will jump to the end of a project. To move forwards or backwards a measure at a time, press control page down and control page up respectively. Scrolling is possible via the mouse wheel, up and down with no modifier, or holding the control key will scroll left and right. If markers are present in the project, it's possible to navigate from one to another by pressing Ctrl plus Shift and page up or down to go to the previous or next marker respectively. Any point in the project can be jumped to by pressing G and entering a time in measure, beats, and ticks format. There's no need to enter all of those though. For example, to jump to measure 12, just enter 12. Or for a specific beat, enter a measure and beat number with a space between them, such as 3, 3, which will move the now time to measure 3, beat 3. There is a dedicated navigation view for moving around the project as well. To access that, press Alt plus N or select Navigator from the Track View view menu. The colored square indicates the current view area and can be moved to scroll the project or size adjusted using the handles which will zoom in and out on the projects. There is also a dockable version of this view selected by pressing Alt plus Shift plus 8 or using the Views menu. This can then be floated to a second monitor if needed. It is also possible to horizontally scroll the project from left to right using left click and drag in the top half of the time ruler. The technique is similar to the zoom function, but instead of dragging up and down, drag from left to right, depending on the direction required. This can also be achieved using the standard Windows scroll bars at the bottom of the window for the horizontal scrolling, or 
the right-hand side of the window for vertical scrolling. There's certainly plenty of ways to zoom and navigate a project. 